Sarah. Hello. Voice, voice actor extraordinaire. Um, <laughs> and now, uh, you know, the stage, the stage is your theater now uh, with the upcoming show. And the, the, the name is very, uh, it's very tricky. So I'm going to let you describe that and the, uh, uh, all, all of that. that. What, what was tricky? Oh, the, the, the title of the, the play and all that, because I don't oh, know if there yeah. is an actual title. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, okay. So we're doing three different plays. I'm only in two of them. Um, it's an evening of short. It's, it's an evening, an adult evening by Shel Silverstein. And we have, I believe, nine short plays within that. I'm in three of them. I'm in one tennis shoe, which opens the show. I'm in The Lifeboat is Sinking. And then I'm in Buy One, Get One Free. And then uh, for the Ethan Cohen plays, I'm in Talking Cure and uh, in Debate. And there's a third one that I'm not in, uh, Offices. So those three plays have actually never been performed together. Um, they, they're, uh, Ethan Cohen has several um, sets of plays and there are sets that are performed together. These three come from different sets of plays. So we're really excited to put these three together. We think it makes very good sense. So. Yeah, it's the first time. This is their second time doing the Ethan Cohen, and the first time it sold out. So I'm really mm -hmm. excited to join it. And what is your experience through uh, stage play and, uh, mm. you know, first time doing it, or you've done it before and uh, you're ready to come back to it again? Yeah, the latter. So I, this is my first, this is my LA theater debut. Um, I have done some sketch comedy in LA, but I've never, I haven't done like a run, a theatrical run in LA. So very excited for that. Um, I the last time I did a run in New York was like ten years ago. We did a play called Museum, and man, that was a lot of fun. But after that, I I pretty much got into film editing and kept up with voice acting, and I was like away. I was on sets and stuff. So I didn't I didn't even pursue theater again after that. And I'm really excited to be back. I'm and then now, so what was that like? Uh, what happened? Well, what was the uh, who was the initiator? <laughs> I was the initiator. Um, I have been wanting to get back on stage. I want to fully focus on acting and less on editing now. And um, I went to the 24 hour play festival, which I'm actually doing in a couple of weeks on March 18th. Um, I asked the artistic director of that. I'm like, hi, if you'll have me, I want to do it. And he was like, maybe. And um, then I got the email I'm like, yeah, I'm terrified. I'm so nervous for that one. Um, but in the lobby, these guys, Foster Cat Productions, Elliot and Harry White, they were, um, they're two brothers and they were helping out for the 24 hour play festival. Cause it's, you know, it's a community. And, uh, we had a little, uh, kerfuffle. They were, they were selling coffee. I was exhausted. I had just gotten off a plane and I got there. I'm like, I need coffee to get through this. And, um, I didn't notice there was a bar in the theater. There was a bar in the theater, but they were right there. They were uh, selling mugs of coffee, like 24 hour play mugs. And they sell me the mug. And I try to enter the theater with this cup of coffee. And of course the girl at the theater says, I'm so sorry, you cannot enter with an open cup of coffee in the theater. And I was like that. Yeah, that makes sense. So I go back to them and I'm like, Hey man, I, I don't need the cup. I went to the bar. I got a closed paper cup with a lid. So that's legit that you can you can put that in the theater. And I tried to give back the cup because what am I going to do with a dirty cup? What am I going to do with a coffee cup in the theater? Nothing. <laughs> so I won't try to give it back to them. And they foisted this mug on me. And uh, I said, I don't want your mug. And they kept it. And then after this show, I came back and they're like, do you want the mug? I'm like, listen, man, I don't want to hear another word about this. Mug. <laughs> so um, they kept the mug. I befriended them because this was just so funny. I went out with them afterwards and kind of heard about uh, Foster Cat Productions. First of all, the fact that they're called Foster Cat Productions, that they have like a, a thing about fostering cats is wild because I've fostered over a hundred cats and kittens with my mom. That's a lot <laughs> so, of cats. <laughs> yeah, and I was promoting fostering. I still promote, everybody should foster. I was always promoting fostering. Um, so to meet like-minded people in that regard was wild. And then I heard um, their mission statement, which is um, uh, doing plays by, le by, by famous writer, doing lesser known works by famous writers. So like, did you know Shel Silverstein wrote plays? I did not. I did not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he wrote a lot of songs. You can listen to him on Spotify. Wild man. Really wild. Yeah. Like, and like, it's, it's, it's crazy how you're doing, what, three three different plays? So three different Shel Silverstein five. and then two different Ethan Cohen. It's a lot. So, 
five total different stories and then you have to rehearse them. Did you just come after a rehearsal uh, before doing this? No. No. Okay. <laughs> I had an appointment. Okay. And uh, it would have been cooler. It's like, oh, I just came out of rehearsal. I'm here. Oh, heavy breathing. Oh, you want that? We can go back. I'll... Yes. <laughs> That's, I'm it's all right. I'm exhausted. <laughs> well, rehearsal it hasn't been exhausting. So it's actually been really chill and a lot of fun. And um, they don't like to over rehearse. They're they are um, they're very they're they're very chill directors. They're very they're people who are like we don't want to rehearse this to death. Um, you know, we've been talking a lot about that, and I like to rehearse a little bit more. But that's also my nerves because I've spent so much time in a booth and not having to memorize and. You know, I've done things with not much rehearsal before, and I've been fine, but it's been a while. So. Oh, yeah, that is true. The differences between doing, like, voice acting in a booth and then a play or even, like, just on stage or, like, mm -hmm. on the actual set with the lines. Uh, because yeah. on the booth, you have the uh, the script in front of you, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> and on set, you can you can drop a line. Like, they are, you're not filming an entire, typically, you're not filming an entire 7 to 10 minutes to 15 minutes, some of them. You're not filming that all in one take. So like, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> and, and you're memorizing for a film. You're memorizing not into like your core, core, core memory that you're doing over many weeks or weekends. We have breaks, so like keeping that in your head. Yeah, keep it in your head. I don't know. Maybe I'm fine. I don't know. We'll see. It's my first time doing a weekend thing. A weekend thing. That's yeah. And this, yeah. it's uh, I'm not sure what the there's different stories, but I think I read somewhere it's more like the uh, uh, adult uh audience and uh very different compared to let's say pokemon yeah no no yeah. no I, I wouldn't say under under if you're under 16 don't come <laughs> and if you're 16 and up um don't come with your parents <laughs> or uh, if you want parental to supervision parents, if you're yeah. 16 and under I, I, you know, no 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 okay yeah there, i mean there's no. adult language there's adult themes very adult themes so um yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't bring your kids to this one this is for this is for the adults and like teenagers i wouldn't I, like if i were a teenager i wouldn't want to sit next to my parents for this <laughs> <laughs> that's true that's true cousins, i'm like come but like come on another night yeah, the teenager will probably find a way. Like, I'm gonna sneak in. I'm gonna find ways around this, and not. <laughs> but we're not condoning that. Stop yeah, it, please. <laughs> yeah, at your own risk. It's, it's yeah, it's, uh, it's adult material. So, so how how do you feel about uh, tackling different genres or different uh, just shows and stuff? Things one for like you know all ages, and then another one for more of the adult crowd. Because I, I'm thinking as you like as a performer, you love the uh, just doing all kinds of things just uh, just makes it exciting. Yeah, totally. Life is long, you know? I, you have to try different things and some things may work, some things might not work. I mean, I have the support here and people have faith in my ability to do this. I feel good doing it. So I, I you know, um, I'm pretty confident in what we're doing. Uh, there have been times I've booked things as a voice actor that I'm like, me, really? I can do this and it's been fine, so. As long as you're having fun i didn't become an actor to be bored or have a not good time I, i'm doing this so i can have a good time oh yeah for sure i'm pretty sure there are some actors out there like uh yeah. do i have to be on set what is this waiting for hours for for my lines uh, yeah i mean if yeah yeah i mean uh, waiting i don't know waiting you have things to do don't you <laughs> we, have, we have computers in our hands like how yeah so, yeah yeah for sure there's so many worse things that either one of us, you and me, could be doing, you know? We're out here having a good time. Oh, yeah. And, okay, so let's say, yeah. what can people expect watching you perform on the play? Because for me, I'm like, uh, Sarah, uh, <laughs> Pokemon, oh, this is not for all ages, so maybe uh, voices? Am I going to hear voices? Or <laughs> You'll hear some voices. Yeah, I definitely yeah. play with my voice. It is Shel Silverstein. So Shel Silverstein, it's, it's, it, we're really towing the line between um you know a, a natural performance and absurdity so um yeah be, being able to modulate and to full to use my full range vocal well, i'm not using my full range because i'm not doing accents or anything but um to use my full range within the characters that i'm playing is uh something you can expect yeah definitely um, and i'm is... not gonna be I, you're not gonna hear ash's voice <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, maybe if I stream, you'll be like, oh, there it is. But yeah, yeah, I'm not I'm not playing a cartoon character. I'm playing characters <laughs> that are very much grounded in reality. And not saying that cartoon characters aren't. We're all grounded in reality, but this is like this very grounded in most of the plays are grounded in 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 human nature and like the core of our human nature and mm -hmm. amplified to absurdity sometimes. So Oh yeah. And yeah. correct me if I'm wrong, but is this a like a one person show or there's gonna be other mm -hmm. actors? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a group of us. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, all my scenes uh, uh it's either it's either me and one other person or me and two other people. Yeah, oh yeah, I th I think because I was reading the description, it sounded like it's like maybe one person. It feels it feels very intimate, and there was there, there wasn't like enough uh, information on like who's going to be performing and uh, there's going to be this actor. So oh really? Oh then you were... yeah. It's just what I was reading, and sometimes I like to like use my own imagination. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, this is not a one person show. It's a it's a series of plays with with a group of. I don't know. I, I should count maybe six, seven actors, and um, I'm in three of the nine, I believe. Shel Silverstein plays in two of the three. Ethan Cohen plays. And then and you're also, you're I mean, mm -hmm. you're starting tomorrow. Is that it? And then yes. Friday. Mm -hmm. We have one Saturday tomorrow of Shel Silverstein. The official opening of Shel Silverstein is on Friday, and then Saturday is the official opening of Ethan Cohen, and Sunday is the official opening of Wendy Wasserstein. But I'm not in that. Okay, so yeah, those those are the dates to to check check your stuff out because I'll, I'll I think I'll be there on Friday, so I'll definitely yeah. I don't know if I can cheer inside uh, depending on the etiquette inside. <laughs> have you never been? Have you never seen theater, live theater? Uh, it depends on the theater, right? Like some theaters could be like different, like a one man show. Uh, okay, so you've but... been to one man shows. I've been no, I've been to all kinds. <laughs> all okay, kinds. You've, been, you've seen yeah. theater. Okay, so you yeah. know to clap uh, at the end of a performance. We're but sometimes I cheer during. Depends on yeah. depends on the show. Depends on the oh, show. Yeah. Like well, Moulin Rouge. <laughs> uh yes. I understand. <laughs> um we have no musical numbers. Yeah. I've cheered in the middle of musical numbers. I don't think I've ever cheered at a straight play. So no music. Okay. So okay. <laughs> I'll I'll uh, contain well, myself from that. <laughs> <laughs> okay I'll, I'll wait for the very end and uh yes yeah, because this is a serious um more of a serious subject right no they're all funny oh it's funny like, yeah 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 all of, the, like, uh, all of their they're all comedic they're all dark they're dark but they're dark comedy, comedy. Yeah, dark comedy some of them might make you feel kind of uncomfortable mm -hmm. yeah. can you give us an example of i don't know like one story on like what you're excited about yeah without spoilers but like you know what what are you most excited about like with the character you're playing that spoiler oh my god um ugh, the one i'm most excited about is kind of a spoiler if i tell you <laughs> um so the opening how can i do this okay there's one there's one um play buy one get one free we are two sex workers me and my friend rachel troy who i actually did that play with 10 years ago is how we met and we've stayed friends ever since. And I, I actually recommended her to the to the production. I was like, she'd be perfect because we're both like these tall, skinny girls, and we just like look like we would we would we would be a good partnership in that. Um, so we play two sex workers, and the entire thing is 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 a poem. So we're just taking turns saying the lines of this very long poem, and it's really funny and wacky and weird we're really weird <laughs> so that's very it's uh yeah very very different like this just the uh the, the story the characters and i'm pretty sure your fans are gonna be like whoa, whoa sarah what, what's going on what's happening i'm fully dressed i'm not doing anything like that but <laughs> yes yes hey representation man you know I oh yeah no well, i don't personally know any sex workers so my research on that one was it was quite limited but um, I did find elements of my best friend in this character, and uh, the first my first thought was Marissa Tomei and my cousin Vinny. And that's oh, the, yeah. that's the that's her whole personality, and so I started with that, and then I started building, and and I found my best friend in there, and I was like, oh my god, that's her, cool, 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 let's do that. 
And, oh yeah, she's yeah, very fun, but then she like knows her shit and exactly. just don't mess with her. Yeah. I'm the one you don't mess with and Rachel's the one who's kind of new to this. So, yeah. <laughs> it's a fun little dynamic. Um but my favorite, my favorite one is the very first one. We open really strong in one tennis shoe. And that's just, that's my grandma. Like that role is literally my grandma. The minute I read it, I was like, please, can I do this one? And they were like, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was, and yeah. so after this, right, after these mm-hmm. five shows, um, are you going to be returning back to more stage uh, productions? We'll or, see. Uh, yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Um, hopefully. I definitely, I want to be audition. I want, I'm exploring the theater scene here in LA and kind of seeing what I want. To, I'm in a phase of like exploration. Like, what do I honestly want to do? You know, cause I don't want to be acting for the sake of acting. Mm-hmm. Um, I think having, uh, having more specific goals is, is definitely where I need to be putting my energy and my time and my thoughts. So, um, yeah, this this fell into my lap, but I'm really glad it did because I it, it it wasn't the quickest yes, but it was like this is something I should do because the writing mm-hmm. is so good and um and to see if I still love doing theater too. I mean, let's be honest, I haven't done it in a long time. I mean, do I still yeah. love this? Do I still want to be doing this actively all the time? I don't know. We'll see. And uh, like, let's say when you're, when you're mentioning acting and just for the sake of acting. Yeah. Uh, so I'm guessing it's like it depends on the projects, right? Like you want to choose something you really yeah. enjoy or. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, you know, not everybody has the luxury to do that. And I'm not saying that I have the luxury to do that, but um, I just want to make sure that everything I'm doing is mindful. Uh, I hate that word, but it's, you know, that I'm, that I'm doing it with purpose and that I'm doing it for, uh, for, for a greater goal, you know, to pursue a greater goal as an actor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I guess. I uh, Always I don't have know if a you're. Good time yeah <laughs> it's so important to always have a good time so you're not having a good time man mm. yeah, but i'm pretty sure have a good time is just it's sad i don't know it's like why what's happening why, why are you even doing this, doing this? yeah yeah because yeah. i know i know like you're like just some um, where it's like let's say when you're acting you do uh performances and then you uh promote it mm-hmm. and so it all comes into the territory and then i know there are like some actors that doesn't care for the whole promotion thing uh yeah. so it's kind of like it comes in the territory so it does yeah it yeah does. it's a it's a lot like to to be preparing for something and then having to talk about it and kind of dissect it right before um i, don't know, I think it's i think it's healthy probably but like i said this is my first interview regarding the show so mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah well i i can't wait and I, I want to say just uh, thank you for your time. And before I go, I want to let me get my since we're talking we were talking about Cass before she's here yeah. somewhere. Oh, let's see. <laughs> cool background, by the way. She got in there. A lot of pops. Okay. Ah. Hello, oh, hello. Wait a minute. Is see. that? Oh my god. Oh, hello, buddy. Hello, gorgeous. It's okay. <laughs> get her close to the camera. What's this? She's like. Name? Uh, snow. Snow. Hello, snow. How she's old like, are oh, she's like a year old. She's a year old. Oh, you baby. Yeah, oh, yeah. Gosh. She's like, don't carry me, please. Total for a cat. Oh yeah. Yeah, live with But yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, and thanks so much for doing the interview. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to check out the play and. Just have my experiences be like different on the uh, just what the the show is compared to your previous works. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, I, I wasn't on camera for Pokemon. You don't even know what to expect. It's just my voice. <laughs> it's, the, it's the voice, though. You know, it's still important. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Yeah. Well, hopefully, hopefully, you and vast audiences can get past that. And oh no, no, no! I'll, I'll get past it. I'll get so, past yeah, it. It's I'll... Be the end of my career, man. I know, I know. <laughs> no, I'm just. I it's just gonna be to like. Do. I have places to be. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it's gonna be. It's gonna be surprising. Way. Like for me, at least, like yeah. the initial thing, and then I'll get. I'll get like in the mode. <laughs> yeah, I'm very excited to, to make that happen. Okay, Sarah. All right, take care. All right, take care. See you soon. Bye.